Hi friends, it's Timothy Carver here coming from General RV located in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And I'm super excited because all the 2024s are starting to roll in. And guess what? We got our first four four wind 22E. I personally love this RV. You know why? So there's no slides on it. It's very simple. I can get it in any of these little tight spots. I think it's a great little coach. This is really great if you have friends or a small family, two to four people, this is really great. So let's do a real quick walk around on this unit. Like I said, it is a 2024 done on the Chevy um, chassis. You have mirrors on each side here with convex on each side so that you can see any kind of traffic coming down the side. As we come down the coach, we do have a full body awning. This is powered, so you just hit a button and it just comes right out and it keeps you out of the sun. There's also some great lighting for nighttime ambience in there also for you. Um, it does have a more ride. So what this is for you, this gives you a great ride as you're going down the road. If you're taking any turns, it keeps it all stable. So it's a nice, comfortable drive for you. Here is your propane tank. This is where you would fill your propane. This is gonna give you heat and also give you um, a fire in your two burner cooktop. As we come down the side, this is your air for your resident, uh, your refrigerator. This is gonna be running off propane and electric. Really great selling feature about this small class C is this storage area right here. So this lifts up for you. Look at all that storage in there. You have plenty of room. If you have a Blackstone grill, a foldable kayak, surfboards, really kind of whatever you need, plenty of storage for you on there. As we go to the back of this coach, it does have a ladder on the back. And what a ladder means to you is that you're able to get up on that roof, inspect it, make sure there's no branches or anything that may have happened to you on that roof while you were uh, camping. It also has a reverse camera. So when you put it in reverse, you'll be able to see whatever you're telling back here or just whatever is behind you. So you can comfortably make a decision in reverse. You also have a receiver down here if you want to bring a towed with you, which will be like a little tow vehicle. You have a seven pin prepared for it. Uh, and brake controller. On your driver's side of the unit is all of your hookups when you get to your campground. So they usually offer you four things. The first thing they're gonna offer you is water, sewer, cable, and electric. So this is where you would connect all of your water so it'll give you um, water throughout your coach. This is a black tank flush. And what that black tank does is after you've gotten rid of all of your sewage, think of it like a sprinkler system inside of a box. It's gonna rinse out so that all your kibbles and bits will then proceed out through the proper connection. This is a 30 amp unit, so we would connect our power cord here, and then we would run it with a 25 foot cord to the pole in the back there. This is where you would put normal gasoline. It just takes normal unleaded fuel. Back here is where all of your dump is. So this is where your gray tank is and your black tank valves, which will be right there for you. If you get to your campground and you get cable, this is where you would connect your cable this is a quick recovery uh, water tank. So this will heat up so that you'll be able to take a shower and it'll fill up again and then heat up. This is your hot air exchange. So if you have SS heat um, in your tank, it'll blow out there. This also comes with a generator. It is um, a generator that'll give you power throughout this coach so you can boondock, dry dock, or even if you like to go to sporting events, this is gonna give you the power that you'd need. So you have three tanks on here. You have your fresh water tank, you have your black tank, and you have your gray tank. This is where you would fill for your fresh water tank to be able to travel with. If you're gonna to go to Disney or any place, put some water in here so that you can wash your hands and flush your toilet. So I know you all are really excited. Let's go inside, come on. It's nice to come in on the heat after that cold day. So what do you think? Does it feel like home? So some of the really neat things about this coach is you're able to sleep six people. As you can see right here in this layout, I like how big this is. I am um, 5'8", and I have a little bit of belly, but I have plenty of room here that four people can sit here comfortably and have a nice meal. I wanted to char uh, charge my uh, phone or any kind of devices, I could put it there also. Another really nice thing about this is it all collapses. And when this collapses, we use these back pillows right here, and these would fill 
this area of sleeping here so we'd have another sleeping area for people if they travel with us. A lot of people asked how many seatbelts. So you're gonna have one on there, one on this side. So we have a seatbelt for four. This one makes this category very popular is the C-Class because you have this large, kind of like a brim of a hat over the truck part uh, that you have up here. Then this is like a queen sleeper and you could easily get up there. It has, it comes with a little ladder that goes up there and you can climb up there and um, allow your friends to um, stay overnight. Or even if you want it for storage, it's a great area just to be able to store everything you need. You do have a TV that swings around, becomes part of your living area. And this curtain right here is for privacy for anybody over there. As you look around, look at this beautiful cabinetry. I'm an interior designer by trade. I think the fit and finish on this are fantastic with this white glaze with the brass handles. In a design, you just need to take it to the next level. So incorporate some color, whether it be blues, reds, greens, really whatever you're passionate about. But they have it established already for a great design. Just take it to the next level. So in our chef-inspired kitchen we have here, we have a sink with a little roll up here. We can dry some racks, pots, and pans there. We have a three burner stove. As you see, this simply lifts up. One, two, three. Has a light with an oven light also. You have a fan and a light, which blows the excess heat out. We also have a microwave. Sometimes they come with convection. You'll get a convection if you don't have an oven. And this refrigerator here runs off propane and it runs off electricity. So you just simply open this up and then you would have um, your refrigerator and then your freezer up top. On ours, that we have on ours, I just hit power, then I hit automatic, and it automatically determines whether it needs a propane or electric. You don't even gotta think about it. This has the corner bed, as you see here. You have two windows, um, and it also has privacy shades there too. So it does allow some natural light to come through, but also allow you to sleep in a little later if you did want to. It also has a privacy uh, fabric curtain that comes all the way around. Um, I would just reach back here and just pull this and this would give you a privacy if you do have guests over too. So that's a great unit there. In this corner is the bathroom. You have a porcelain toilet and you have a great uh, little sink with a, a stainless steel hot and cold running water with a medicine cabinet. Like I was saying, I'm 5'8". So as you can see, if you're six foot, six three, you'd have no trouble in here. I'm 200 <laughs> some kind of pounds. So you get a visual as to kind of what that looks like in here. And across from the refrigerator is this wardrobe. And in this wardrobe here, there is a telescoping ladder. And this telescoping ladder will allow you access to the bed. This will be your heating system. And then you also have drawer space here too. Thanks for watching this video today and taking this grand tour, this 2024 Thor 4Winds 22E. For more information, visit generalrv.com. Thank you again.